Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are doing an extreme clean and organize with me. So you'll be getting a ton of motivation to get cleaning and organizing done in your own homes. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Amanda and this is my channel, Amanda's Daily Home, where I like to post videos to motivate you to get cleaning, organizing, cooking, basically anything that you need done around your home done and just to create a happier and healthier home altogether. So today I've got a ton of organizing to do. We just moved into our brand new build a couple of months ago and we are still finishing some of the building process while we're living here because my husband is a contractor and is able to do a lot of this stuff himself. So for us, in order to save money, we moved into the house even though it's not done because he's doing the work and it's gonna take a lot longer than if you have a crew of guys. So anyways, today I'm organizing my pantry. It is finished enough that I can put all of the food away and organize it. We still don't have those handles on the cabinets. They are on order. So when they arrive, we'll get the handles on the cabinets, which will be much easier to get things put away. That's kind of why I had everything on the counters in the pantry because I didn't want to keep opening and closing the drawers. But now that they are going to be coming, I'm going to put some stuff in the cabinets and drawers, but I don't want to overfill it because we still have to um, like use the drill, I guess. Yeah, the drill to like screw the holes in to install the handles. So anyways, right now I'm just wiping down all of the shelves and installing the shelves because they are adjustable. So I'm going to install them the way I like it, the height that I need them to be in order to put the food away. And those of you who've been watching for a really long time since I started my YouTube channel, this house is the same floor plan as our first home. So this room was actually the laundry room in the old house, but we decided to change this into a pantry because our pantry was just so small and there was never enough food, or not never enough food, never enough space to put all of the food away. We have four boys, we're a big family, and we need a lot of room to put the food away. So. This is so much better. We moved the laundry room upstairs because we had two closets that were back to back and we really didn't need that much closet space. So we changed that to the laundry room, which is way, way better because it's upstairs where the bedrooms are. So this just works out better for our family. So I love having this gigantic pantry. I bought these, um, I think they're the OXO containers. These ones are from Costco. I got the nine piece set and it was a really good price. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I did the calculations and it was just way better to buy the multi-pack rather than individually. So I bought that and then I also bought the two piece cereal dispenser. So I'm going to try to buy like a new pack every so often when I go there so I can put all of our dried food in these containers. I love it because it has those little pop tops and it like seals the air in there you know so it does it doesn't get stale so um, just push the button on the top and then put it into the pantry so I am also trying to unpack a lot of the stuff that we had in the garage so I brought in all those boxes if you remember from my last video I brought in a whole bunch of boxes that needed to be cleaned and organized I'm just making dinner here for the kids we're making tacos tonight um, I'm juggling the dishes cleaning the kitchen with our regular cleaning and trying to unpack these boxes. And basically I'm washing everything again because it was sitting out in the garage for a couple months. So who knows like what the heck could have gotten in the boxes. I don't want to take any chances. So everything's getting rewashed. All right, so here we are on the next day. I'm continuing on with the kitchen still unpacking the boxes here we've got so many water bottles because the boys play hockey and we've collected a ton of water bottles over the years so I'm gonna go ahead and figure out which ones we're gonna keep which ones are kind of old and the ones that we're keeping are going to get washed and then I'm making a water bottle station area in the pantry where they can easily access their drinks for their water bottles ice machine all that kind of stuff Even
even though I tried making sure I wrapped up our mugs and glasses in newspaper, one of them still ended up breaking, so the handle's broken. Chandon was disappointed because that's his Pittsburgh Penguins mug, so we'll have to try to get him another one like that. Once you've seen all the things, all the places, I hope it means that you come home. Now over here in this corner is going to be the hot drink station. So I'm going to put the coffee makers over here, the tea kettle in the cabinet here is going to be the coffee mugs, the travel mugs, um, basically anything where you're like making even iced coffee. So all the tumblers and to-go cups are gonna be in here as well. And then in the bottom bank of drawers is going to be the actual like coffee, tea, hot chocolate, apple cider. All that kind of stuff so i'm hoping this is going to be like fully stocked and organized it's really nice because i like to make myself a cup of coffee or tea to take to go to go to the hockey rink and i just like to take a really big one because i'm usually there for a long time and it's better than just buying the rink coffee or tea because it's really not that good well, you're coming back. You know that. You know that. you're the traveling kind Okay, so I had to put a whole bunch of mugs in the dishwasher before I put them in to that cabinet. So I'm still working on that coffee and tea station, but I wanted to get this area all vacuumed and washed up because I noticed a lot of crumbs and stuff under the kitchen table. So I'm just using my Dyson vacuum here, vacuuming under the table. I'm gonna wipe the table down and then just wash all around this area. And here at the front door we've got a big stack of random hockey pucks for some reason so I'm just gonna go ahead and put those away in their hockey bags so in this area I'm just vacuuming we've got the area rug right there that's temporary I don't know what we're going to put here we did want to tile that area but we were just in a rush to get the house done so for now it's just gonna be hardwood with a nice big area rug so I'm vacuuming this whole area here and then I'm going to wash it now I've I ran out of the Great Value wood floor cleaner, which is what I've been really liking to use for wood floor. So I just substituted with some hot water and just a little bit of laundry detergent. So right now, Chandon and I are heading out to the other boys' hockey game. I'm not gonna have any more time this evening to get more cleaning done, so I'm gonna have to leave the kitchen the way it is. I did get a lot done today, but I'm gonna finish the rest tomorrow morning. So I've got my tumbler here, my Yeti cup with my tea, and got my big fluffy cozy coat and off we go. So here we are the next day. I'm just picking up right where I left off because I wanna get this kitchen done. This is driving me crazy with it being so messy. So again, I'm just wiping down the things that I brought in from the garage so I can put it away nicely in the pantry. I've had this mixer since I got married. I got it for my wedding shower. This was a gift from my mom and dad. So I haven't used it since the old house. So it's been like three years since I used this mixer, which I can't even believe it's been that long since we sold the other house. So I'm just cleaning this all up. I used Barkeeper's Friend on here. Honestly, that stuff is magical. Um, it polished it right up. And it's got a couple little scratches on it from being in the garage, but overall it's in good condition. I do need to get a new wire whisk though. I do have one in storage, but I'm gonna have to dig that out this summer when we clean our storage unit out. Since this is another long video that I'm putting out today, I'm just going to let the music play for a few minutes and let you guys have that motivation and clean along with me so you guys can get some stuff done in your own homes too.
Got this boy on my mind that I can't live without Oh, his eyes are killing me And he keeps talking about everything that he likes And I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time All the time And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs So I can't get enough I'm thinking about him all the time I can get him off my mind Oh, I want him to be mine To be mine My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him na, 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 na My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you So we are heading to Duluth, Minnesota this weekend for the boys hockey tournaments and I was thinking about doing like a Costco haul or maybe some Target shopping. Are you guys interested in seeing like a shop with me at Costco or Target? Let me know in the comments down below. I can bring my camera with me and just take you guys along shopping and show you guys what I got. All right guys, so I just got home from picking up the boys from school and I stopped at the grocery store. It's gonna be a quick dinner tonight because I'm still trying to work on a bunch of stuff in the house. So I'm just gonna do some chicken strips, throw some potatoes in the oven. The boys are on the outdoor rink. We made a little rink this year. No boards though because um, we were too busy with the house. <laughs> so looks like they're having some fun out there anyways. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get the chicken in the oven. These dishes I didn't get to before we had some visitors today, so I have to get that into the dishwasher, get that started up. But at least the rest of the kitchen is nice and tidy. I've gotten a lot of those boxes unpacked and stuff put away. There's still a few things right here. Um, kitchen table, <laughs> we just, they already put their bags on the table and ran upstairs to the washroom, so. Um, you know, get washed up, get undressed, into some clothes for the outdoor rink. Um, yeah, and then clean this up. I also have to finish up a little bit more. This fridge right here is actually my dad's little mini fridge, so that's gonna have to go downstairs for now. Um, there's that room, still hasn't been totally finished. We have to finish that. But the pantry is looking good. It's gonna flip the light on. We have our um, like energy drink st station there, the ice maker. Um, that is more for the older boys. They've got like protein powder and stuff like that there. Trim still has to be done on that window. 
Um, this is our breakfast area right here. So, well, except for the pasta and the rice, but there we go. Um, yeah, so we've got some cereal, uh, oatmeal, some applesauce pouches. I think that's waffle, pancake and waffle mix, syrup, other cereals. Um, these are all crackers that have been like in the pantry open. So I think I'm just going to chuck those because they're probably stale. And I have to go get some more groceries so I can fill these shelves. But I'm really loving the way it's looking in here. I'm going to keep this here because we can put like muffins and donuts, baking, whatever. I still have to fill these. Um, still going to reorganize this area. We're going to do the hot drink station actually in the kitchen right beside the fridge. Got the popcorn maker there, air fryer, bowl of fruit, waffle maker, toaster. And I'm gonna have in here like breads and stuff. Still have to organize all this. This is going to be like chip drawer, snacks. Anyways, this is the progress so far. So I'm gonna go get food in the oven because we have another hockey game starting shortly at six o'clock so it's already almost four so I'm gonna get this food going and get that sink cleaned up and that dishwasher started So dinner has been served, the kids are gone, and Jeff took them to the rink because Janet has a game starting um, at six o'clock. So it's 5.19. I'm going to finish loading the dishwasher, uh, wipe down all the counters, and then I'm going to try to get one load of laundry folded before I head to the rink. And then when I get home, I'd like to clean that bathroom. And that'll be it for the night because if I get that done today, it's a good day. So I'm gonna get going. In this clip, I was trying to clear the dishes from dinner and load the dishwasher, but my camera kept fading in and out of focus and the clip kind of got ruined. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys what was going on in this clip, even though I had to cut it right up just to get you guys a couple of good shots. But what I'm doing is, yes, I'm cleaning the island off, getting all those dishes put away. I want to get the dishwasher started. And then later I'm going to do a lot of hand washing because I want that sink emptied before I go to bed tonight. Here I'm just restocking the fridge with the sparkling water. We go through so much sparkling water. I wish I could just like get a machine and not like not the um, 
soda stream machine because it's just the flavor is just not the same i wish i could get something that was like real like almost like a bubbly machine that you get at the restaurant where you can choose the bubbly water with the flavors that would be super fantastic because we go through so much of it and i've seen a couple of machines online like i've seen the bevy machine and i wish they had a home version because i would totally look into getting one um if anybody has come across anything let me know in the comments below because i'd be really interested to hear about it okay so here we are a couple of hours later i just got home from the hockey rink chandon had a game so we just finished that and I'm getting right to washing those dishes in the sink. The boys went to the outdoor rink, so I'm home by myself. I've got some peace and quiet. I'm hoping to get this all done before I have to go grab them from the outdoor rink down the street. If any of you have a sink full of dishes right now or a dishwasher that needs to be loaded or unloaded, now would be a good time to do that. I'm going to let the music play for a couple of minutes again because I have a lot of dishes to wash here. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep washing. This little red scoopy thing that I'm washing is used for my flower jar. And that was actually my mom's Tupperware little red scooper we've had since I was a little kid. I remember it around my house all of those years. So I'm gonna hang on to that and put that into my flower jar, which I'm also washing right now because I bought a big fresh bag of flour and the other one was in the garage. So <laughs> that one is going in the garbage. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that jar in the pantry with that little red scooper.
right, so now I'm just using my Barkeeper's Friend to clean out the white porcelain sink. That's what I've been using in my last few videos and I really love the results. So highly recommend it if you have a sink like this. And I'm pretty sure it works fantastic on like even stainless steel sinks. Um, I used it on a couple of other things, my ice maker, the mixer, which I think were stainless steel and it cleaned it so well. So, okay, so I've got the kitchen sink cleaned out. I've got a couple of glasses over here that I forgot to wash out. So I'm just using my cup rinser here, which I absolutely love. A little bit of soap cleans it right up and just have to wipe down the outside of it, rinse that off. And then I'm going to start working on drying off the dishes and getting those all put away. But I'm trying not to stare. Mm -mm. I get a little starstruck when I see him. I couldn't hit him even if I tried. Am I a little crazy to believe that I could wake up with him by my side? I know I could get And I've mentioned this before in my other videos, but I cannot find my utensil organizer for my forks and knives and spoons. I had them packed in a box and I brought in all those boxes from the garage, went through them all and it's not in any of those. So there still must be a missing box in the garage somewhere. So I'm going to have to find that because right now all the utensils, everything is just mixed together in that gigantic drawer. So I'd really like to find that and get those organized. I act a little dumber when I try to get his number I'm so nervous that I'm losing grip of myself oh, My body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips Okay, so we finally have the kitchen clean. The counters are clean. All of the dishes are done and put away. I've made a lot of progress over the past couple of days getting boxes unpacked. The cabinets are not fully fully organized yet I still have some boxes in the garage that need to come inside but I think the best way to do it is just to bring it in a little at a time so I don't overwhelm the kitchen because it's going to be crazy in here if I just bring everything in at once there's a couple boxes left there on the ground just a few things in there I'll have to go through that um, there's my flour container I'm going to fill tomorrow I'm just gonna let that dry overnight and right now I'm just going to head upstairs, get a little bit of laundry done, and I still want to clean that kid's bathroom. It's California weather, it's like 90 degrees, it's making me hot and he has the same effect on me. I act a little dumber when I try to get his number, I'm so nervous that I'm losing grip. Okay, so I'm in the kids' bathroom right now. We still have some construction dust on all the window sills. The windows are gonna need to be washed inside and out probably this summer. Um, lots of like drywall dust and just construction dust in general. So I just vacuumed there and I'm just wiping down the windowsill. We still have to paint the trim on the inside of the windows. So that'll have to be done a little bit down the road. It's kind of not so high on the priority list here. Um, I need to clean the toilet. There's some more construction dust behind the toilet. So I'm just going to work on all this right now. I can't remember if I mentioned in my earlier videos, but there's that piece missing in our vanity. Our cabinet maker has to come back and put that piece in and then same with all the kick plates and then install the handles on all the cabinets. So that's what we're still waiting on. Um, that's why that piece is like randomly missing.
Okay guys, so this is our shower. I really love the way it turned out. I think I showed you in a previous video. So Jeff did all the tiling on here. He was not happy with the pattern I chose because he hadn't done one like this before, but it ended up being okay. He wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out at first, but um, the boys love it, I love it. This shower system we got from Wayfair. It has like a waterfall um, flowing, um, bath faucet I guess you call it but it is super nice um, we really love it I think it's really like trendy looking the black for the boys is so nice so right now I'm just spraying down the shower and washing it out quickly the boys are gonna be using this probably in like the next 10 minutes to have their showers before bedtime so I'm just gonna do a really quick job here clean it up just so it's nice and fresh and they can go ahead and have their baths before bed So while the boys are showering, I'm just going to go ahead and get this load of laundry folded. Once they're all done in the bathroom, I'm gonna go back in there and clean off that vanity. It was looking pretty sticky with toothpaste and pretty gross. So I wanna get that cleaned up because I'm almost done in there anyways. I really wanted to try and stay on top of getting the laundry put away after I fold it or take it out of the dryer, but I'm probably not going to have time to do that tonight because the boys are showering and they're getting into bed, so I don't really want to be going in their rooms and start putting things away. So I'm just going to go ahead and put all of these folded laundry piles on my dresser and then get those put away in the morning once they are gone to school. Okay, so we are finally at the end of the laundry pile here. I am going to head into the bathroom to get that cleaned up. I almost didn't do it. I got really tired and I laid down for a second. That's why I'm in my house coat because I already have my pajamas on and I almost just decided to do it in the morning, but I'm like, okay, now just get it done tonight, get it over with and you'll be happy you did it, which I totally was because I went in there in the morning. I'm like, oh, thank goodness. I just did it last night and I talked myself into making sure it got done. And I find that a lot of times you just have to not overthink it, just do it. Like don't try to talk yourself out of it. Don't rationalize that you can do it in the morning. Just do it and like I said, don't think about it, just do it. Because if it's done, it gets over with, you're finished, you have a clean and tidy vanity. And that's my motivational advice for the day.
The way I designed this vanity worked out really well for us actually because each boy has a drawer. There's three drawers on each side, so that leaves us two extra drawers. So the top two drawers are basically like drawers for anybody to use, and then the bottom two drawers, which are larger drawers, um, there's two on each side of the vanity, one on the right and one on the left. Um, so boys, two boys get one on one side, two boys get one on the other side, and then you've got the middle cabinets under the sink to put other stuff, like maybe some toilet paper and just other supplies that the bathroom needs. This bathroom is almost completely finished. We just need that cabinet piece, the cabinet pulls, a couple of pieces of trim on the floor, and the ceiling needs to be repainted. And then for the backsplash, we are doing a shiplap backsplash vertical, so up and down, and I'm gonna paint it like a black. And I think the paint color is peppercorn. So I think it's Sherwin-Williams peppercorn, I can't remember. But anyways, it's gonna look fantastic. I can't wait to finish it up in here, especially with that black backsplash. I think it'll really make the mirror pop and the rest of the bathroom just kind of come together nicely. But anyways, that is it for the cleaning video today. I hope you guys got a lot of cleaning motivation. I got a lot done today. I'm actually really proud of what I got done. Still lots to do though, so make sure you guys are subscribed. Hit that little notification bell down below so you guys don't miss any of my future videos. And I will see you guys next time in my next video. Bye!